The approach actually draws from two streams of knowledge. Uh, there's a Western stream uh, and there's Māori epistemologies. So let's say Western science and Māori epistemologies. And for a long time now, one of those streams of knowledge has been the dominant one. What has been experimented with are some metaphors, a metaphor, for example, of uh, a braided river, which is uh, a metaphor that has some meaning for me as a geographer, uh, partly because I was going to be a hydrologist, and braided rivers have particular characteristics. Uh, and one of the characteristics which I liked about the metaphor is that it allows for quite separate and independent assessment of a similar sort of social issue from very different epistemological positions, quite different knowledge systems. And those knowledge systems each being treated with respect. So it's not about trying to fit one knowledge system to work with another. It's about acknowledging that in some contexts, one of those knowledge systems will actually give you, under working within it, will give you far better outcomes than working within another knowledge system. This model is saying that each knowledge system has a richness and a uniqueness of its own. Um, we need to draw from both streams of knowledge. There will be times with this model when um, a Māori worldview or a Māori way of doing things, a Māori way of knowing is the way to go. Um, there will be times when both streams of knowledge will come together and a shared decision will be made in that space. Um, so for me, the strengths and the benefits of the model is that it enables Māori particularly to have a voice. Um, it gives authenticity to their voice. In the post-settlement environment, iwi have the resources and iwi have the impetus to lead their own development and part of that is research. Uh, and they're no longer really asking or knocking on the Crown's door to assist them in that. So something like... Um, Bridging cultural perspectives or awafiria is essential to uh, how that is going to work together, how iwi, how the Crown are going to work together in the future. And it's a role model, I think, for other communities in Aotearoa, New Zealand. It's really important to keep in mind that our you know, bridging cultural perspectives approach is purpose orientated, it focuses on a particular project that is bringing people together to, you know, um, either deal with a policy or research issue or uh, develop some kind of um, shared or collective impact and I think it's really important that people think about who the natural stakeholders for that kind of project are, whether it's uh, iwi stakeholders, mana whenua, um, representatives from relevant Māori organisations, um, other entities. So at times it will be representative, at other times it will be expertise based. 